Sani bona nibantwana siyabonga kakhulu ukuthi siphinde sihlangane futhi kwe Kids Life. Good morning children. It's wonderful that we can meet together again here at Kids Life. Sacela ukuthi sithandaze singakaqhubeki. Shall we just pray before we start? Baba wacha sezulini siyabonga kakhulu ngomuso senzela wona ukuthi sibe nalesi siqephu se Kids Life. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for this opportunity we have to have Kids Life again. Siyacela ngoso ukuthi ube kanye nathi usiphe ngoso isifundo Lord Jesus, we ask that you will be with us and teach us what you want us to hear. Amen. Amen. Manje ke bangani namhlanje nginiphathele indaba kasikhumbuzo. Well, my friends, today I've got the story for you about Skumbuzo. Usikhumbuzo ke bangani wayesefunda isikole ehlanganiphile esikoleni. Skumbuzo went to school and he was very clever. Esanda qala isikole wayehlanzekile epolisha kahle iqathilo zakhe washa amasokisi njalo mayibu esikoleni and he was always very careful to be neat and clean he would always polish his shoes and wash his socks after school kodwa bangani eh khona into yamhlasela niyakwazi ukulala isikhathi esidu ungafuna ukuvuka ekuseni uma wakho mayikuvusa but then one day something happened do you know what it's like when you just want to stay in bed even if your mother has asked you to get up. Especially if it's cold. And that also happened to Skumbuzo. The others tried to wake him up and told him that he'll be late. And he said, no, don't worry, I'll get up just now. Hai maye vuke ekuseni sevu uyagubuzela ngathi nogwaja agijima maye ekhishini athi kuphuka udla kwami asheshi sahle And then when he did eventually get up he had to scurry just like a rabbit running to the kitchen and ask for his food Hai maye selo kunjani esemele agqoka agqoke uniform yakhe akasazi ukuthi iqathule uyibeke ephi akazi ukuthi uniform yakhe inkuphi nishwabene noma ayiniwe And then when he had to get dressed and put on his uniform he couldn't find his shoes he didn't know if his shirt had been ironed. He didn't even know where it was. And fortunately for him, on that day, his shoes were already nicely polished. He put on his shoes and ran to school. And and then after a few days the same thing happened and he slept late. Hayi ngaleli langa ke bangani uyazi ukuthi wenze njani wathi uthi 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 uyavuka useyaphuthuma konke kwahamba kahle maye fike esicathulweni zakhe uthi uyasifaka isicathulo ayibokhona ite khona laphambili azivuma ungena kahle isicathulo. And then one day when he was rushing again everything went well until he had to put on his shoes. And then he couldn't put them on. There was something in the front of the shoe. Oh, my little And when he put his fingers in the front to find out what was the trouble, it was something soft. It was a frog. And Ah, well, he just threw the shoe aside and grabbed another shoe and put that shoe on together with a school shoe. So look at what he had on, a school shoe and a slop. But he didn't really care. He thought as long as he gets to school, nothing matters. When he got to school, his friends started laughing at him. Why is he wearing a school shoe and a slop? Well, he didn't want to tell them the truth because he thought if they knew that it was because there was a frog at the tip of his shoe, they would laugh at him for being scared of a frog. So he rather told them that he'd been stung on his foot and it was very sore. 
Masa glalo akosha pantu skumbuzu uti ena ulimele ngumbe kamba manga vele. Ah, kichi ma kichi, mepa hapu kaba gandha hao. Ina nte ulimele, lo se kichi manga aga. But then at break time, when the others were playing, he forgot that he was supposed to be injured and hurt, and he played with the others, and his friends noticed and they wondered what was going on. Ay, wabulabon chai kolendo lena. Well, that was no fun for him. And then he made a decision to make sure that his shoes would always be in the right place at the right time. So he prepared his shoes, he put away the slop, and he cleaned his two school shoes. I got him walk hamburg with Catibank and getting a footy langa. I see that it was like a pan drum gun, scumbos alone. Well, after a while, after a few days, he forgot his school shoes outside the house. I want to call him Juan, and I was on Juan Bangan. Oh, papi. But then there was a puppy. Um, Johnny, what bonnie? That's what I guess we are bonnie. His name is Ambolis. I was cousin, um, Johnny, all over the land and cargo. I was done the statues, done the statues as a ship hook. The puppy was very interested in the shoelaces and he started pulling on them, tugging them, uh, moving the shoe around, and in the end, the shoe broke. Yo, Hexen, um, gun, what vogue? My yet away. Well, there wasn't much time when Skumbuza woke up the next morning. He didn't know what to do with his broken shoes, so he put them in the box and he dug in the shoe box for and found his sister's tackies and decided to wear those. And his heart was sore because he thought, I should have been wearing my school shoes, but I was the one who left them outside. So, because of this mistake that he made, he decided to go and speak to his mother. And so he told his mother the whole sad story about his shoes and he asked her to buy her some new ones and he promised that he would look after them and polish them and get up for school on time. Hey, Bangan, what could be our peeling pillow footy and the manje was Kumbuzo. And after that, things went well and Skumbuzo lived in the right way. Manje, Bangan, you found this fund this cool, Gulenda Bagas Kumbuzo. Now, my friends, I learned a very important lesson from this story of Skumbuzo. Now my friends, you can't wear two, pe uh, two shoes that aren't, don't match. No matter how nice each shoe is, but if they don't match, you can't walk around with them outside. Manjege bangani, isfunde isfunde dek lo kuguti. Aukwazi uktata so what I learned from that is that you can't take a child of God and put him or her next to the things of the devil. Those two things don't match. You see, my friends, if you are a child of God, you can't also be doing the things of the devil because we'll see that and we'll be confused and wonder what's happening with you. 
ubese unkulunkulu ungamunaki ngoba uzokwenza njani uzolahlekelwa okubalekile And if you are a child of God you can't ignore God If you do that you will lose something very precious Yakhumbula ukuthi isikhumbuzo washe iqatshilo zakhe phandle wayithola ngakusasa You remember Skumbuzo left his shoes outside the house and how did he find them the next day Ngakho ke bangani awukwazi ukuthi uthi wami yamthanda uNkulunkulu kodwa umuso ufuna ukuganga uNkulunkulu umshiye ngaphandle njalo uNkulunkulu kumele abe lapho ukhona wena So you see you can't say that you're a child of God but then when you want to be naughty you forget about God you need to be with the Lord all the time Bangani futhi awukwazi ukuthi uma kukhona into ekuvimbayo ukuthi uthandaze uNkulunkulu nomkhulume noNkulunkulu bese uthi ay ingayekake mina ngeqhubekela nempilo yami And also if there's something blocking you that you can't speak to God or you can't you don't feel free to pray You can't just decide well I'm just going to carry on with my life. Ya khumbula isikhumbuzo ukuthi yena wafeca iqoqo wenze njani wasitahlapha isicatshulo wathatha esinye. You remember what Skumbuzo did when he took his shoe and there was a frog inside? He threw it to one side and took some other shoes. Akwazi ukwenzeka lokho mngani ukuthi esikhundleni sikaNkulunkulu wena uthi ayi ngcono ngizo ngizo ngizotshela umngani wami lokho noma ngizotshela em Uh, uthisha wami mhlambe ukuthi mina eh uh, angithanda ukwenza umsebenzi wami yena futhi akangifundisi kahle awu akwazi ukwenza into kanjalo You can't not tell God your problem and decide to rather speak to your friend or to blame your teacher and say that your teacher is the one who's not teaching you properly and that you're not enjoying doing your schoolwork kodwa bangani kumelo ulikhiphe lelo xoxolele eliphakathi elivimbile ukuthi uxhumane nonkulunkulu kahle No but you must take out the frog that is in the shoe that is preventing you from communicating with God. Emva kwalokho ke njalo uma abantu bekubona nawe futhi ngoba ngabe uwedwa uyavuka ekuseni yohle zinjalo nenjabulo ukuthi mina ngikumntwana kaNkulunkulu ngichumene noNkulunkulu. And if you do that then you will wake up every morning with joy in your heart and wherever you go you will know that you are a child of God and you are communicating with God. Beseke khona iverse ade lengibusisa kakhulu kulezinsi ukungeze ngifike endabeni kasikhumbuzo elitholakala kumahubo 51. There's a verse in the Bible that really blessed me especially when I think about Skumbuzo's story and we read about that in Psalm 51. Iverse le 10. And that is in verse 10. Unkulunkulu dala kimi inhliziyo ehlanzekileyo. Create in me a pure heart, O oh God. Uvuse umoya oqinileyo phakathi kwami. And restore a right spirit within me. Ngakho bangani, uma kade siyabantwana abambi silalela usathane. Uma sesibuyela kuNkulunkulu njengosikhumbuzo niyakhumbu ukuthi wabuyela kuma wakhe, washe ukuthi nansi inkinga yami nakha de ngikwenze ukubi kodwa sengifuna ukushintsha. Waqinenza njani akaba sakhathaze ukuthi bazomhleke esikoleni So you see like with Skumbuzo he went back to his mother and he shared with her his problem and things changed for him in the same way we should also share our problems with God and not keep them quiet Awo awanga waba saba nankinga ukuthi uzofika qamba mangathini kubangani bakhe ngoba yonke into eyihamba kahle He no longer had to tell lies to his friend friends or be worried that they would laugh at him everything went well ngakho ke nathi bangani uma sibuyela kuNkulunkulu uzosipha leyo ndliziyo ehlanzekileyo so my friends if we go back to god he will give us that pure heart nokuthi asiphe umusa ukuthi kulokho esesithaya sizukwenza ngomusa wakhe uzosiqinisa singabe saphinda futhi senze into efanayo and he can give us the grace where we have repented that he will help us never to do those things again umakade unenkani usomtsheli uNkulunkulu uNkosi mina ngihlushwa inkani uzokusiza ukuthi akuhlanze inhliziyo bese kusiza ukuthi ngoku uzayo umubhekane nesimesithize ungabi nenkani so if you are stubborn and you come to god and you say lord i'm stubborn please forgive me then god will forgive you from that sin and he will also help you that next time you won't be stubborn anymore 
na koke bangani sikumbuli nda baka sikumbuzo la posesi funu guti sikuwa nino nkulu nkulu ngoba naku izi ndo zinga hambiga leti. So my friends, let's remember the story of Skumbuzo and not to go away from God because then things won't work out for us. Let's just pray together. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for what we could hear in this time. Help us to be very close to you, Lord Jesus, and never to leave you. Thank you that we can come to you whatever problem we have and you will hear us and answer us. Amen. Amen.